Hey guys, good evening and welcome. This is Kim, Independent Designer with Chalk Couture and Chalk is Chic. I'm going to get this pulled up really quick so I can see comments if they come over. But if you're hopping on, catching this live or on a replay, just let me know that you came by. I would love to know that you swung by. Um, we are going to work on a cute, cute, cute transfer. Um, it is part of our Creative Kickstart transfers that just came out. Um, just this past week on June the 1st so they are available for purchase and the cool thing is is if you place orders online you can actually earn some for free um, lots and lots of goodness there but I'm gonna get this pulled up really quick and shared you know how technology is when you want it to work it does not but I have backups so we're using our backup plan and sharing it that way but I hope y'all are doing good it has been a busy busy day here um, very very busy day but a good day a good good day just a busy one okay I have it shared finally goodness gracious um, we are gonna get this cut apart so I did remember my scissors today because um, y'all I promise you I keep a thousand pairs of scissors around here and it never fails when I need a pair. They're not where they're supposed to be. I don't know if y'all experience that, but I do all the time. It's like somebody else lives here, but nobody else does. So, it's just me that creates the craziness and the chaos. So, I love this transfer for a couple of reasons. Because there's lots of moving parts to it, right? But there's so many moving parts that you can do so much with it, um, and it's just really, really fun. So we're going to cut this apart, and I'm only going to use um, just the wording for today. You could pretty much do whatever you wanted to with this transfer, but you have a ton of moving parts. I will be honest with you, I love silverware. I'm not a big fond fan of this one. I like the bigger, bulkier looking silverware. This is a little bit too rinky-dink for me. Um, but, depending on what you're doing, it does go with this transfer. So, we're going to do cook, eat, clean, repeat. So, it's going to end up lining up like this. And we just have to kind of finagle it, if you will, where, hopefully y'all can see that on the camera, but we're just going to have to finagle it and dry a little piece at a time. So we have to make sure that we have everything lined up like what we want it and everything looks good. So what I'm going to do, and this is just me, um, and what I do is you see this kind of edge right here. It goes over a little bit. We're going to put a piece of placement tape down so we can um, know where to line up our transfer. So, let me get a piece of placement tape off really quick. And we are going to get, let me get new placement tape because that one's not coming apart. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, here we go. So, I'm going to put that little edge there. That way I know that little edge right here, I don't know if y'all can see it or not, um, will be lined up accordingly like right there because I do want that heart to come all the way over as close as it needs to but I want the spacing exactly what it needs to be so how I want to do this I don't really know I don't even know what colors I want to go with guys um, I think that I am going to use let's see we are on a whiteboard we can use pretty much whatever color we want to besides white, but I think I'm going to go with, ha, 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 what do I want to use? I don't think I want to use black. I know a lot of people use black, but I'm not a big fond fan of doing black. Let's do, we already do so much couture teal. If anybody's out there watching and y'all have a fan favorite that you would love for a color, you can comment and let me know. I may do guava. Guava would be cute up against there. Um, we might do guava and we'll do our little hearts in Tide 
or in couture teal because the hearts are kind of tiny they don't have to be gigantic but I do like guava so I think we're gonna stick with guava so we just need a punch of color we're gonna take our transfer off of our backer sheet and go ahead and fuzz 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 and keeping in mind that we want to have everything lined up correctly so we do want to make sure we kind of line it up and everything is straight and hunky-dory because we have a very straight straight font you do want to go over it either with your finger or with a squeegee I tend to go over it with my finger over a squeegee that's just my personal preference either one is appropriate you can choose to do whichever one floats your boat, really. Um, but you need to make sure you do one of the two because you don't want to have lettering pushed up. So we're just going to do our letters in guava. I think it's going to be pretty. It'll give a nice punch of color against that white. If you are into farmhouse, though, black would be a good color choice. I just, I'm not a big fan of black on white unless it's a very strict farmhouse look that you're going after. And I think little pops of color are just glorious. I'm going to use our detail tool for these cute little fine hearts using couture teal. Teal is so hard to see on the lives because... Our transfers are teal but we're gonna go ahead and give this a pull up and I love the font Ugh. if you're a Ray Dunnish fan that font is dreamy so I am going to go ahead and dry this really quick mainly concerned for over here because we want to be sure that this is really really good and dry right here I don't really care about over here to the side we just want to be sure everything is dry over here where we're going to be putting our next transfer and believe it or not before I went live I debated on whether or not to leave this where y'all could see me clean it off but the um board that I'm using had something from the fall on it so it had a really 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 old design from fall of last year on it and it came off clean and we're chalking on it so our boards that I'm using the Odette boards are reusable over and over and over again till your heart is content okay so we are gonna line this up and the other thing that you can do, let me show you something really quick with the placement tape. You don't have to do this, but it certainly does help, is if you're wanting to make sure you're lined up completely straight, you can roll out some placement tape. You don't have to cut it off. Roll it out. Get your transfer lined up there. making sure you're clearing that placement tape and then remove the placement tape so it worked kind of as a ruler just to line everything up and then once you get it lined up all you have to do is push down your transfer and you're ready to rock and roll again so that's a really easy cheat if you are needing a way to line stuff up. Hopefully it worked out perfect because I wasn't really being super precise. But um, it's a really, really easy way to line up your fonts where you're not going downhill or anything like that. So if you use our individual letters, we do have fonts that are available. We actually have the handwritten font that's kind of like this but quite a bit smaller and shorter. This one's really tall and lean. I really, really would love to have this particular font in this size. Um, the other one's a little bit too small for my liking, but this one is perfect. This size is way perfect. 
super cute and really really easy I like the thin letters okay so we're just squeegeeing on and squeegeeing off almost done and we have one little small heart left to do and we will be finished working with this cute little transfer so all of these creative kickstart transfers are available right now in the back office or online um, for $14.99 they are size B transfers and if you need any help with that you can comment below and I will be happy to help you but we have one more peel and reveal and I just love that color combination together they are so super cute really really adorable so cook eat clean repeat just a really cute piece using our Odette frame and again this board is reusable over and over and over again till your heart is content so you can erase it and reuse it change colors do a different design all of those lovely things and if y'all have any questions or comments leave them below and I'll be happy to message you back but I hope y'all are having a great great week. Happy Wednesday, guys. It's almost the weekend, so hang on tight because it'll be here before you know it. I appreciate you watching, and I will talk with you soon. Thank you.